Do you guys ever wonder how I'm able to stream for countless hours without a single minute of a break? I'm gonna share my secrets with you so you can game for infinite time as well. My secret is very simple, guys. It's Deep and Z gaming diapers. That's right, I am wearing one right now. And it's very easy to use. I'm gonna showcase it. Just like that. And I know I'm wearing it outside, so, you know, but the thing is, you can wear it because it has patented technology that allows it to suck out the dirty work from the outside of your actual clothing. However, since it's not as fashionable, although you could rock it if you want, but I recommend that you actually wear it under your clothing so people won't make fun of you. But it's very easy. So now the dirty work is done. We simply dispose it. We just take it off. Very easy to use. One, number one, number two, no problem. Just like that. Shadow Z's undies. Gaming Z. Pick up yours today and game for infinite time. All right, guys. So I am using Braviary. <laughs> That's right. Or Bravery? Braviary. Ah, I can never say it right. Anyways, uh, Perserker ride into Togokis. By the way, who is excited for the return of Ultra and all the leagues? Because I am very much like her. Because I love my heavy damage. But this time, oh yeah. Before you're wondering, but Braviary Z. Is Braviary dealing heavy damage? Wait till you see it. You're not even gonna believe it. Braviary is dealing heavy damage. Only heavy damage. Anyways. So this is horrible for us, this is absolutely walling us, as you know. But I mean, I no, I take that back. It's not walling us as much as you would think it is, um, because, because we are able to stall so much and we are able to lower its health so much. And the goal is always here to leave with your Mewtwo with energy on it. So whatever comes in, you're able to throw a side strike, because more than likely, he doesn't have another counter for the Mewtwo or whatever that it is. Mewtwo can hit it pretty hard with Dynamic Punch or or uh, that side strike. That's why I swapped out with loaded energy. And now we come in with our Purser, can be always throw because we win CMP tie no matter what. We get a shield, he swaps. He stole it fine, Togokis comes back in. We just got a shield here because actually we win this matchup, believe it or not, guys. So once after the shield, we're good. We, and we have tons of energy, we just throw the foul play. If he shields here, that's even better for us, guys. And uh, the XL Best Body Perserker, guys, actually wins against Togokis, uh, no matter what. So yeah, they, not everybody knows that. It flips the matchup. Anyways. So we're coming back in here, and we throw the foul play, and I wish we throw in a close combat, but don't worry, because Berserker is OP. Look at that kitty cat. Look how heavy it freaking hits. Oh, I can't believe it that Berserker almost sweep swept this whole freaking team, guys. And now this is when we come in with our uh, um, Mewtwo and throw the side strike, but unfortunately we lose the CMP tie because he had too much energy, and we just cannot shield. We need to farm down with our Braviary, and it worked out into our favor. And then now we are in trouble. We are in kind of trouble. We're gonna have to shield here, because Moonblast hits heavy. Luckily, we didn't get debuffed. But what we need to do is, because he has a shield, we're gonna have to throw, and look, all we have is two debuffing moves. So we're gonna have to tank this. That's why I didn't throw, no matter what. Now, luckily, he, he threw, which is awesome for us, because now we can throw a close combat and then a Brave Bird. Because he's definitely gonna shield this. He cannot afford not to shield this. So turn the close combat, perfect. And now we're gonna throw that Brave Bird, and that's it for Cresselia is out. And no matter how much, even if it had three quarters of health, I think it almost one shots that Cresselia. I mean, about three quarters of a health. Uh, I would say 65% of its health. It will one, it will take it out with the, that Brave Bird because it is pretty heavy. So, Braviary is freaking awesome. I really, uh, I mean, I take that back again. <laughs> Braviary is not freaking awesome. It's freaking fun to use. Let's put it that way. It's really fun to use because you never know what you're able to take out against and what you're gonna face and what people are gonna think on and all that kind of stuff. It, it's just it's just a, an off-meta pick that can have some play in Ultra and I love it. In, in Open Ultra and in regular Ultra, but I prefer Open Ultra. Anyways, so we're back here. Um, I always do that and, and unfortunately, I, sh I, I don't know why, Throne. Uh, I mean, I, I always do it because lots of, they never shield. I, I think, but not never shield, but they shield very, uh, less likely when you throw up front into that, but this worked out perfect for us because now we can come in I wanted to farm it down, but now he comes in with Giratina, which we wanted. This is perfect The best thing when they don't instantly sweep and he swept one after one side strike Which is awesome for me because I can charge it for more energy and he throw Dragon Claw. This is awesome This is awesome. He's throwing Dragon Claw. I, maybe he has Ancient Power This is the only Giratina that has Ancient Power in the league or or he just baiting? Is it Dragon Bread? Oh, but he has Dragon Bread. That makes sense. 
Yeah, he has Dragon Bread, that's why. They usually don't throw Shadow Sneak when they have Dragon Bread. Um, and so this is absolutely awesome for us. Armor Mewtwo did his job. We're gonna survive uh, whatever it throws, even a Shadow Sneak. Perfect. And then now we're gonna be able to farm it down and we even win that matchup, guys. And Giratina is supposed to counter Armor Mewtwo, but he's just that tanky. And if he can get to the side strike, we can. Guys, Armor Mewtwo is absolutely nuts. In case you didn't see my video, I will link it in, but I did a feature, on, especially on Armor Mewtwo, because that's the core of heavy damage. And Armor Mewtwo, guys, it's just absolutely, absol it's, it's one of the best tanks in Open Ultra, if you ask me. And now you see way too many uh, Armor Mewtwo's as well, so be careful out there. Anyways, um, I did not expect that freaking Hydro Canyon will take half of our health. We cannot tank another one. I did not expect that at all, whatsoever. And now this is gonna be Ice, so he's gonna probably one-shot us, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Braviary <laughs> is not tanky at all, but can we pull this one off? Oh, whatever it throws, we survive. It's just a surf, we are good, we farm it down, and we almost have double close combat. That should take care of that, uh, that uh, uh, what you call it, Swampert right there. This should be enough, right here. Look at this, Perserker again saves our butt, guys, right here. Oh, no, 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 Woo! Woo! Oh, man, Perserker, yes! Oh, two. Whew. I think I got a heart attack. Who was worried there, right? That was, oh my god, that was closer than I thought. Oh my god, that was close. By the way, also guys, don't forget, Kanto ticket, Kanto tours this weekend. We gave out over 60 tickets at this point. If you didn't win one, I'm sorry. If you won one, hope you enjoy. I got so many nice messages from you guys. I really appreciate, I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate all your messages sending to me that uh, how much I helped you to be able to play this game. Uh, it just means a lot to me. That's my goal, to be able to give back to you guys. I, and, and, and that's what I'm doing every day. And you make it possible just by watching the videos and hitting that like button and of course hitting that subscription. If you ever ask me, because you guys always ask me how can I ever pay you back, I always say just make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and basically just be there in the community and that's it and you pay me back. And, and I don't even consider this payback because I always try to make sure you got entertained every day. All right, and we are about to start Sword and Shield and Pokemon Unite streams every single day, guys, Monday to Friday. Not, not on the, maybe on the weekends too at the beginning, but it's gonna be fun, so make sure to join in. Then stay tuned for the updates. All right, so we were able to sex swap, I mean, uh, I shouldn't say sex swap, but able to swap and catch sec, I guess, that uh, Hydro Canyon, which you wanted to. And then, unfortunately, the schmuck absolutely was us. That muck schmuck absolutely was us. So there's no point shielding. We throw a dynamic punch because it hits heavier than side strike. And since we're not able to throw double side strike, it makes sense just to throw a dynamic punch because he's gonna farm us down. And actually, now we wouldn't make it. We would have we would have fainted out because the the two turn. I mean, side strike is just. I mean, the the confusion wouldn't register enough. Um, anyways, so now we come with our berserker. We're gonna have to tank here as well before we get debuffed. But I think yeah, because the foul play. Is the foul play? I don't think it's enough. The foul play is not enough from this turn. It would have like one HP, and I do not want that because he's probably betting on it. He's not gonna shield this. Yeah, he was betting on it. He was betting on that I'm going to throw. Oh my god, it's so close to the close combat. He was betting on that I'm throwing a foul play so he can throw his move. Um, but I was not doing that. So, anyways, so we know we can survive one hydro, which is fine. So we're gonna farm as much as we can. Uh, he still has one shield, so I don't think we can win this one. I think we're gonna lose this one. I don't, I don't think we can, I, there's no way. We are at the, yeah, I don't think we can do it. He's already at a, we're throwing the, unless he doesn't shield us, and he's super weak for our, uh, uh, yeah, he's probably gonna, he didn't shield it. And it's a Snorlax. Oh my God, if he didn't have a shield, guys. If he didn't have a shield, we would one shot this. Ah, oh, man. I wish he didn't have that freaking shield. Oh my God, can you imagine that win if we are able to pull off with freaking Braviary, guys? I cannot believe that. Also, guys, don't forget, if you join the membership here on YouTube, you can do it by clicking on that join button on the bottom. Uh, for literally $1.99, uh, you get access to all of the badges and all the cool things, just like Twitch. And all the money, by the way, that actually comes in going into the prize cup, which is going to be a, uh, this is spoiler alert, this or next weekend, we're doing a prize cup with hundreds of dollars at a crash price. There will be a base cash price, like let's say uh, two or three hundred dollars for the winner, and then every single uh, join, meaning subscription, to, because you're gonna stream it as well, will go towards the winner as well. So if you have two hundred new members at one dollar ninety-nine each, we're gonna add additional two hundred for the winner. 
So it's gonna be good. I'm very excited. Make sure to stay tuned for that, guys. Hit that sub to don't miss out on it. Or even join if you like and want to contribute to this cup. Anyways, it's gonna have additional memberships uh, and benefits. Like, we're also moving the podcast to Facebook uh, uh, officially. And, or if just members only on YouTube. And then the podcast with, with the members, they're gonna be able to ask questions uh, to our guests on the podcast. Like Zionic and uh, Kayla Feng is going to be our, one of our next guests, not this, but the following week. And uh, members, we are able to ask questions to them. Anyways, let's continue on. So, this is perfect for us. And we're gonna come back in. We're gonna come back in, I hope. Nope, we're gonna be braver. Okay, uh, let's see what's gonna happen here. We know we can tank one. We couldn't tank one, I guess, with Perserker, so that's what didn't come in. Makes sense, and we want a shield. So now we're gonna try to farm it all the way down, have tons of energy, and it didn't work. One HP and a dream baby. He 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 got it this time. Man, that would have been absolutely perfect and beautiful if we were able to farm it down and to keep both of our shields. Uh, now we throw a Brave Bird, he's definitely gonna shield this, which is good for us. And after this, we need to swap into our Perserker right away. He didn't shield! No way! And he has a freaking Oh boy! He's gonna use the shield, isn't he? If he doesn't use it, we one shot it. He didn't think, or, or he probably thought we were, he already lost, because our Braviary had a, 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 a close combat anyways. So either way, shields or not shields, he won that match. That was great. Swamp Earth Killer! No, that was Noivern. I, I created a video when Noivern absolutely was Swamp Earth, guys. And people get so pissed. Well, first of all, they swap in their Swamp Earth because they just don't know what a Noivern does, right? And they're throwing all this Hydro into it, and it doesn't even tickle Noivern. And some person to, uh, throw three or four, I think three. And after the third one, he just he just quit. Uh, it was so it was so much fun. Anyways, okay, Charizard with Dragon Bread. This is perfect for us. This is actually good. I usually throw a foul play before I swap out, uh, and I catch uh, Blast Burn on my Mewtwo. And lots of times they bait because they think you're gonna shield. So we're gonna come in with Mewtwo. Oh, and he swaps out. Great! What a move! What a move on his end. That was a great move, by the way, and what a spice. He used V-Vile. I need to create a V-Vile video, guys. I have the, I done done before, and uh, V-Vile is super glassy. It's definitely a glass cannon, even more glass cannon than freaking Gengar, so it's really hard to play with, but it almost one-shots everything. <laughs> if it can survive and uh, build up energy, let's put it that way. <laughs> it's very hard to play with. Caleb Tank tried to use it too, and it didn't go very well for him either. <laughs> but this person is using it well, because it absolutely walls up Mewtwo, besides the Dynamic Punch, of course. Um, but he just has to shield that, which he did, or she, or they. Anyways, so back in with Perserker, we don't have the shield because he definitely has... Oh, just a foul play, never mind. So is that, this is definitely just another foul play, I don't need to shield here. There's no way he got to a freaking close combat. Yeah, there we go, or dynamic punch. But dude, that foul play, oh my god. Did you guys see that, how much damage it did, that foul play? Holy crap, it does so much damage. And I should just throw a foul play, I don't know why I throw the close combat. Um, okay, this is fine, if it's a Dragon Claw or not, it's a Dragon Claw, okay. Uh, if I throw him Fire Play, I would have survived that. That sucks. But anyways, we can farm it all the way down here. Um, and I'm like, alright, I'm not gonna shield here. We're gonna survive a, a Dragon Claw, perfect. It's just a Dragon Claw. And now he comes in with Mewtwo. And we are screwed. He's gonna be able to farm us down. Yeah, unfortunately we're losing this. There's, bit, there's nothing, not much we can do. I mean, I throw the... If he shields this and I'm able to get to the Brave Bird, we are good. But unfortunately it's not gonna work out. Yeah, it's not gonna work. We, and he throws, but I shield. Oh man, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. Are we gonna be able to pull this one off? Ah, I should have just thrown a close combat, but not like we, that, that wouldn't do anything to me too, so it doesn't really matter. All right, guys. So there you see it. We went positive with Braviary. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the streams.